British royals exchange, slightly rude, Christmas gifts, including whoopee cushions and toilet seats. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry kept the tradition going after they moved to California. What do you give a royal who has everything for Christmas? Laughter, of course. During the holidays, the British royal family sticks to tradition, including on Christmas Eve, when they gather around to exchange wild and wacky gifts. The royals do like to have fun, True Royalty TV co-founder Nick Bullen told Fox News Digital. The presents they give to each other are normally quite silly. If you've got all the greatest jewelry in the world, all the greatest works of art in the world, all the greatest clothes in the world, what do you give each other on Christmas? It tends to be small joke presents. Bullen is an award-winning documentarian who has been producing programs about the British royal family for 20 years. He also worked closely with King Charles III for about a decade. His streaming platform offers several documentaries that examine the British royal family's past, present and future. According to Bullen, the royals get together every year at Sandringham, where they let loose. Do you know what a whoopee cushion is? Bullen chuckled. I've heard that they've been given in the past. I've heard that silly bath toys were also given in the past. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But slightly rude, slightly funny, slightly on the edge presents are of the order of the day. Several royal experts told Fox News Digital that over the years, they've heard whispers from sources about the secret comical gifts found at the House of Windsor. Queen Elizabeth II decreed early on that since the royal family is blessed with wealth and luxuries beyond imagining, presents exchanged should be gag gifts of the whoopee cushion variety, Christopher Anderson, author of The King, told Fox News Digital. Charles's favorite Christmas gift was an upholstered white leather toilet seat, a gift from his sister Princess Anne, Anderson claimed. He liked it so much that he still travels with it when he goes abroad. He found it so comfortable, alleged British royals expert Hilary Fordwich. Royal photographer and broadcaster Helena Chard told Fox News Digital that Anne, 73, has been crowned the Queen of Gifts among her family. She gave a light-up pepper grinder to the late Prince Philip, she said. This was the perfect gift for the King of Barbecues. Prince Harry was the expert at choosing rude gifts to his grandmother's delight, Anderson revealed. One year, it was a shower cap embroidered with Ain't Life A.B., he alleged. Another year, Harry gave the Queen a big mouth Billy Bass's talking fish plaque. Whenever someone shrieked with surprise at a rubber snake or fake spider, the late Queen used to say matter-of-factly, Oh, that would be Harry. William also liked to poke fun at both his younger brother and grandmother. Prince William gifted a grow-your-own-girlfriend kit to Prince Harry, Chard alleged. Some reports claim it was Kate Middleton who gave that present to her brother-in-law before he met Meghan Markle in 2016. William also gifted a pair of comfy slippers to the late Queen Elizabeth II blazoned with her image. She was tickled pink, said Chard. Queen Camilla wasn't invited to Sandringham for Christmas until she married Charles in 2005 but she also liked to get in on the fun. For years Camilla, known for her earthy sense of humor, picked out the often X-rated Christmas gifts King Charles gives family members, Anderson claimed. But not everyone was in on the joke. One of the initially embarrassing and painful experiences Princess Diana had was, with gifts, Fordwich explained. She wasn't informed that the family exchanges are inexpensive and often joke gifts. Diana went to great lengths to purchase extravagant cashmere sweaters and mohair scarves. Since gifts are opened up with everyone watching, the entire room collapsed into giggles, laughing at her, not with her. I seem to remember she bought a lovely cashmere, sweater, for Princess Anne, said Chard. Diana reportedly gave Sarah Ferguson a leopard print bath mat. Middleton, Fordwich said, went the safer route when she was first introduced to the family tradition. When Kate joined the family, she was a great hit with Queen Elizabeth II as she made her grandmother's homemade chutney, said Fordwich. Queen Elizabeth II was touched by the very personal gift and effort Kate put into it. Royal expert Ian Pelham Turner told Fox News Digital that Markle took on the challenge when she joined the royal family. The former American actress became the Duchess of Sussex when she married Harry, 39, in 2018. Meghan gave William a wooden spoon with the words, serial killer, on it, he claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back as senior royals in 2020 but the tradition apparently stayed with them when they moved to California. In his memoir, Spare, Harry wrote that that year, Markle gave him a Christmas ornament of the Queen. Meg had spotted it in a local store and thought I might like it, Harry wrote. I held it to the light. It was Granny's face to a T I hung it on an eye-level branch. It made me happy to see her there. 